right, well, it's day three of the NFL draft. We're covering round four through seven, and the Atlanta Falcons already have their fourth round pick. This guy right here, Clark Phillips the third. How does it feel to officially be a Falcon? It's just so crazy because you work so hard, you know, throughout this process and, you know, from as long as I can remember early on in my childhood. So I'm just so glad to be here now, and I can't wait to get to work. This is a really special day for you. You're obviously at home. Who are you sharing this moment with? My parents, you know, my mom, my uh, little brother, and my little sister, and everybody came out to support last night and this morning, and I'm so grateful that my whole family was here to enjoy it with me. I think it's so fun when it, when y'all are at home and you guys have all of your friends and family with you, especially when you get that call, which I want to talk about for a second. What was going through your mind when you felt the vibration on your phone and saw the Atlanta area code? Yeah, when I saw that Atlanta and then it said Georgia, I'm like, oh, snap, this is Falcons, it's about to go down. And I don't know, I just, it all kind of hit me at once. And I'm just, like I said, I'm just so excited to get to work and get going and play some ball. When you answered the phone call, it was general manager Terry Fontenot and head coach Arthur Smith. What did they say to you in, in the call? They said, are you, are, you, are you ready to be a Falcon? And so I was like, yeah, let's go. And they're ready when y'all are. So if you're ready to be a Falcon, why don't you tell us, what are you going to be able to bring to this defense? A level of physicality, uh, consistency, and then just coverage. And I'm just willing to contribute whatever to help win games. I'm just excited to be a part of it. i got some great additions and some, and some great teammates that I know I'm going to be joining, and I'm just excited to be with them. Yeah, you talk about the teammates you're going to be joining. That's going to be A.J. Terrell, Jeff Fakuda, just to name a couple. What excites you the most about playing with these guys? Well, I actually know Jeff Okuda from back then, you know, at Ohio State. I was committed to them before I went to Utah, and so I've talked to him throughout the process, and A.J. Terrell, I've seen his journey, and so I know that those are a good, good collective of guys, uh, even away from football players, that I'm, I'm happy to join and happy to get to work with. You said a couple of times to the media that you have a notebook that you write all of your goals down on. I can only imagine that being drafted was one of them. You can kind of check that off your box now, but what are some other goals that you have now that you have been drafted and you are in the NFL? Get on the field, and the biggest thing is just to contribute for my team. Um, I'm the guy that's going to get to, you know, get to Atlanta, and I'm just going to really just put my head down at work, and I'm going to be available for the team and for the coaches and ready to be plug-and-play type of player. You're going to be joining a new defensive coordinator in Ryan Nielsen. He's coming from the Saints. Do you know, do you know much about him? What excites you about working under a guy like him? Um, just, the, just the name and also really just like what he does defensively. I think I'm excited to just be a part of it. I love the package that he brings uh, to game days and everything, and I'm really just excited to help this team out in every way. You're coming from the University of Utah. What's a memory that you have that you're really cherishing now that you have left college? Winning two championships. That was something that, you know, when I committed to Utah, something that it was kind of like a, a goal and one of those things that you talk to the staff about before you do it, and when you do it, it's one of those things that you don't even realize that you're in the moment. Like today, just got drafted. It hasn't even all the way hit me yet, but it's one of those things that I'm going to just keep on cherishing and keep on enjoying. All right, last question. I've asked all of our draft picks because I just think it's kind of fun. Off the field, something that the Falcons fans might not know about you. I like to roller skate. Oh, okay. Like I'm a roll bouncer. I like to skate, yeah. Gotcha. I'm not that's a roller skater, do. but that's pretty cool. You might. Are you going to bring your roller skates here to Flowery Branch maybe? Probably not year one. Probably not year one. I've been, I've been, they kind of got rust on them right now. I've been kind of rusty, but I'm going to get back to it at some point. All right, so maybe not year one, maybe year two and further on. But thank you for taking the time with me. It's been a pleasure. Welcome to Atlanta. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.